Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about allowances and the different types of allowances. And in this video I am going to solve the problems on entertainment allowance, EA. So before watching this, you just go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for the assessment year 21-22. Select the video of allowances. Be clear about the meaning of the term allowances, classification of allowances and the provisions of exemption and taxability of allowances before coming to this video. Actually allowance means a fixed monetary benefit which is given by employer to the employee for a specific purpose. Example of allowances are dearness allowance DA, city compensatory allowance CCA medical allowance, project allowance, lunch allowance, meal allowance, so many different types of allowances are there. So Income Tax Act has divided allowance into different categories like fully taxable allowance, fully exempted allowance, partly taxable allowance. Fully taxable allowance like DA, CCA, project allowance, medical allowance, servant allowance, meal allowance, lunch allowance, these are so many examples of allowances which are fully taxable. I have explained all these things in the last video. Then fully exempted allowance. Only few allowances are there which are fully exempted. The list is foreign allowance given to government employees. Similarly, allowances given to high court and supreme court judges. Allowances given to the chairman and members of UPSC. Similarly, some more allowances are there, few, only few allowances are there, which I have already specified in the last video. And some allowances are there, which are partly taxable, partly exempted. Among them, what we have discussed in the last video are two, entertainment allowance and house rent allowance. So in this video, I am going to solve the problems on entertainment allowance deduction, EA deduction under section 16.2 whereas in the next video we will solve the problems on HRA house rent allowance so briefly we will recap entertainment allowance is the allowance which is given by the employer to the employee for entertainment two types of allowance are there official EA and personal EA when EA is given for official purpose it is not at all to be treated as income it is not taxable at all because for official purpose he is getting the EA. Huh, if some amount is unspent in that official EA, then that is taxable. If nothing is given, only it is given official EA received, not at all to be treated as income. Huh, EA is given for personal purpose, then exemption may be given on satisfying some conditions. First of all, EA received only for government employees. EA deduction under section 16.2 will be allowed. For non-government employees, EA deduction under section 16.2 not allowed. First point you remember. <coughs> Again, if the SSC is a government employee, the EA will be allowed as deduction to the least of the following three amounts. 20% of salary, actual EA received or fixed ceiling amount of rupees 5000. The least of these three is allowed as deduction. Salary means basic pay only for calculation of E. So now before starting the problem on allowances I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem. Take a screenshot of the solution of the first four problems on EA deduction. Then I'll explain. Come on, now I am going to start the first problem on allowances. Srimati Sravanti is working as an officer in Andhra Pradesh government. The SSC is Srimati Sravanti. She is an employee of Andhra Pradesh government. So it is, she is a government employee. 
हर सैलरी पर्टिकुलर साल बेसिक पे 11,000 पर मंथ सीसीए 900 पर मंथ ईए एंटरटेनमेंट अलावेंस 800 पर मंथ कंप्यूट द अमाउंट ऑफ ईए टू बी अलाउड एस अ डिडक्शन द रूल इज फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल व्हाट एवर ईए इज रिसीव्ड दैट इज फुल्ली टैक्सेबल अंडर अलाउेंसेस लेटर ऑन वाइल गिविंग द डिडक्शंस डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन 16 2 इज she will get the deduction. When she will be eligible? If the SSC is a government employee. So in our problem, the SSC is a government employee. So the SSC is a government employee. So EA deduction under section 16.2 is allowed to the least of the following three amounts. 20% of salary. In the problem, salary is given 11,000 per month. So 11,000 into 12, it comes to 1,32,000. So 20% of 1,32,000, 26,400. Second, actual year received. <clears throat> In the problem, you can see actual year is 11,800 uh, per month. Actual year entertainment allowance is 800 per month. So 800 per month into 12 is 9,600. Or the fixed ceiling amount given by Income Tax Act is 5,000. The least among three is 5,000. So 5,000 rupees is the EA deduction allowed under section 16.2. That's it. First problem completed. Now second problem is Sri Rajendhar, age 45 years, is working in Ministry of Home Department, Ministry of Home, Government of India. That means Sri Rajendar SSC is a government employee. So he will get deduction under section 16.2 EA deduction. And his wife, Srimati Niramala Ghosh, age 40 years, is working in Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Government of India. That means both wife and husband are government employees. Husband is working in Home Department and wife is working in Foreign Affairs Department. Both are government employees. So according to Income Tax Act, both will get EA deduction under Section 16.2. Their monthly salary particulars are pay per month, Sri Rajendar 28,000 per month basic, DA 50%, HRA 20%, EA 10,000 and CCA 2,000. These are the salary particulars of Rajendar. And Srimati Nirmala Ghosh, salary 55,000 per month. DA 50%, HRA 20%, EA 15,000 and CCA 2,000. Both of them wants to claim deduction under section 16.2. Is it possible or not? Give your note as an ITO. So in the problem it is suggesting the, you that you are an ITO. Both of them wants to get the deduction under section 16.2. Both of them get it or not? That is the question. Income Tax Act is not bothered about the matrimonial relationship. Income Tax Act will say if the SSC is a government employee, deduction under Section 16.2 will be allowed. Whether both are hus both husband and wife are government employed is immaterial. The government, the Income Tax Act is not bothered about the relationship of the SSCs. From the income tax point of view, Mr. Rajendra and Nirmala Ghosh are two separate SSCs. For both of them are government employees, both of them will get the deduction under section 16.2. As an ITO, ITO will not have any objection in giving the deduction for both of them because both of them are government employees. The relationship is not at all matter from income tax point of view. So Sri Rajendra, both of them are government employees, so deduction can be given. For claiming reduction of section 16.2 towards EA, matrimonial relation or social relationship are not considered. It will not be considered. As an ITO for giving deduction, there is no objection. I am the ITO, so I don't have any objection in giving the deduction under section 16.2. Both of them will get to the deduction. Sri Rajendra. The least of the following three amount is allowed as reduction 20% of salary. Salary is given in the problem 28,000 per month. So 28,000 into 12, 336,000 into 20%, 6720. Second actual year received. In the problem it is given 10,000 per month. 
तो टेन थाउजेंड इंटू ट्वेल्व वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड और फिक्स सीलिंग इज गिवन फाइव थाउजेंड द लीस्ट अमाउंट थ्री इज फाइव थाउजेंड तो फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज इज द डिडक्शन अलाउड अंडर सेक्शन सिक्सटीन टू नाउ श्रीमती निर्मला घोष वाइफ ऑफ राजेंद्र she is also a government employee she will also get the direction under section 16 2 list of the following three first 20% of salary salary 55000 per month into 12 6 ,60, 000, 20%, into 20% 132000 actual year received 15000 per month into 12 180000 or fixed ceiling amount given by the income tax act 5000 list is 5000 so ea reduction under section 16 2 Five thousand for Sri Rajender and five thousand for Nirmala Ghosh. That's it. So two problems completed. Now see the problem number three. <clears throat> Sri Raghu is working as a lecturer in a government college, Surat. So again, government employee for the last twenty-five years. His monthly salary particulars are basic pay eight thousand. This is per month. DA five thousand. Education allowance to his children eight hundred, entertainment allowance one thousand. On first January two thousand twenty one, our year ends on thirty first March twenty twenty one. So on first January he was retired from the government job. That means during the whole year twelve months, nine months he was a government employee. Three months, he is not a government employee. He retired and joined a private college as lecturer for the same pay. That means during the twelve month period, nine months he is a government employee. Three months he is a non-government employee. Year reduction under section sixteen two will be allowed only for government employee. Calculate deduction to be allowed under section sixteen two. So first of all, the new point in this problem. During the year nine months he is a government employee, three months he is a non-government employee. Year reduction under section sixteen two will be allowed only for government employees, not for non-government employees. That is the question. Now see, Mr. Lagu retired from government job on first January twenty twenty one. Therefore, he has a he was a government employee only for nine months. Year reduction under section sixteen two is list of the following three amount. 20% of salary while in the government service he was getting a salary of 8000 per month into 9 months 72000 because only 9 months he is a government employee so 72000 into 20% 14400 second actual year received is 1000 per month for 9 months 9000 fixed ceiling amount is 5000 see here the 5000 rupees is not per annum If it is given per annum, we have to calculate for nine months. But this five thousand rupees is the fixed amount of ceiling. That is maximum deduction we can give. So five thousand. So which is the least? Five thousand is the least. Therefore, year deduction under section allowed under section sixteen two is five thousand. So the fixed amount of five thousand is the ceiling amount, not five thousand per annum. If it is given five thousand per annum in the law, then we would have taken for nine months. It is not given in the law as five thousand per annum. It is a maximum amount allowed. So that is five. This is the end of problem number three. Next, problem number four. The following are the income particulars of Mr. Jeevan Sai for the previous year relevant to the current assessment year. <coughs> Basic pay fourteen thousand per month. DA eighteen hundred per month. Entertainment allowance two thousand per month. Calculate the amount of deduction allowed in the following cases under Section 16-2. So we have to calculate how much deduction is allowed under Section 16-2 in each of the following cases. Four cases are given. In each case, we have to decide. First case: If he is a government employee, case A. If he is a government employee, year deduction under Section 16-2 is allowed only for government employees. He is a government employee. So he will get year deduction, which is least of the following three amounts. Year deduction is allowed to the least of the following three amounts. Twenty percent of salary. Salary is given fourteen thousand per month. So fourteen thousand into twelve, one lakh sixty-eight thousand into twenty percent, thirty-three thousand six hundred. Second actual year received, it is given two thousand per month. 
So 2,000 into 12, 24,000. Fixed ceiling amount is 5,000. The least in this 3 is 5,000. EA reduction 16 to 5,000. Now come to second case. If he is a non-government employee, if the SSC is a non-government employee, no deduction under section 16.2 is allowed. So 16.2 deduction is nil if he is a non-government employee. Third one, if he is a local authority, municipal employee and the amount spent towards EA is 2000 per month. Income Tax Act says EA reduction under section 16.2 will be allowed only for government employees. And it has given the clarification. Government employee means central government employee and state government employee. It does not include the employees of statutory corporations or local bodies or municipal employees. So specifically given government employee will does not include the employees of statutory corporation or local bodies or municipal bodies. These are treated as non-government employees non-government only so they will not get the deduction so if the ssc is a municipal employee or local body employee he will not get the deduction under section 16 the term government employee includes central government and state government employees but does not include employees of statutory corporation and local authority Therefore, if the SSC is a local authority or municipal employee, deduction under section 16.2 is not allowed. Deduction under section 16.2 is nil. <clears throat> Last, D case. If the EA was granted for official purpose, when entertainment allowance is given for official purpose, it is not to be treated as income. The EA received for official purpose will not be taken in the allowance itself. When EA is not taken in allowance, there is no question for EA deduction under section 16.2. Right? Huh? If any unspent amount is there, then it will be taxable. But deduction will not at all be given. Deduction under section 16.2 will not be given when once EA is uh, given for official purpose. So here the EA received is not to be treated as income of the SSC, assuming all the EA received was spent by the SSC. So no unspent amount, no taxable EA, so no question of EA reduction under section 16. Four problems I have explained on EA that deduction under section 16 too. Inshallah in the next video I am going to explain you about the problems on HRA, house rent allowance.